Have you ever been at the zoo, sitting there with a stupid look on your face, staring at an animal and wondering how many people that type of thing kills each year? I do. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to World According to Briggs. Today we're looking at the deadliest animals on the planet. Like I said in the last video about animals, one of the most googled searches when it comes to animals is how many people are killed by a certain animal species each year. When we did the list for the United States, we learned people really don't get killed by animals too often. It's actually statistically kind of rare. We also learned that people like to get technical and say humans kill the most people over and over and over in the comment section. But they are correct. Humans do kill more humans and humans are technically animals. But most people understand when a human says animal, they aren't referring to other humans. This list is referring to animals that live like in the great outdoors and zoos in the ocean. They don't have social security numbers or cell phones. And we're gonna look at the whole globe and see which animals on this spinning rock kill the most people each year. All right. Let's see what you should avoid. Number 10, hippos. Yes, that round tub of fat with those stubby little legs actually are some of the most aggressive animals on the planet. They will not hesitate to charge a human if they get too close. And if you're thinking about running from them, good luck. They can reach speeds of 30 miles per hour. That's right, an angry hippo could get a speeding ticket in a school zone here in the United States. About 75% of the people killed by hippos are in or very close to water, so don't go swimming in Africa and you might be okay. Hippos kill 500 people a year. Number nine, crocodiles. They are big, ugly, and sneaky. They kill humans and animals by springing out of the water unannounced, like a wet jack-in-the-box with a bunch of teeth. Crocodiles come in three different flavors. You got the saltwater croc, which can get as big as 2,000 pounds and about 17 feet long. The American croc, which can get up to 1,100 pounds and about 16 feet long. The Nile croc can tip the scales at 1,700 pounds and can get up to about 14 feet in length. Crocs are opportunistic hunters. If you're in their territory, you are considered food to them. Around 1,000 people are killed by crocs every single year. Number eight, tapeworms. Tapeworm infections, which are usually easily treated, can occur when someone ingests food or water contaminated with the parasite's eggs or larvae. Larva, larvae, whatever you want to call it. Adult tapeworms can measure more than 80 feet long and can survive as long as 30 years in the host, according to the Mayo Clinic. So these things get in your small intestines and they sit there and they live a good life. They eat some of what you're eating and they just kind of live there. Sometimes they come out when you go to the bathroom and I'm sure that's a very traumatic bowel movement when you see that floating in your toilet. You just have questions. How long have you been in there? What is going on? Is this an alien thing? What happened inside my stomach that made a worm come out of my butt? Those are questions you'll have in your head if you ever see that. That's how they come out most of the time. You poop it out. But it is possible for someone to go years without symptoms before the infection suddenly becomes very serious and you die. 2,000 people are killed each year from tapeworms. Number seven, Ascarius roundworms. These things are gross. They share a lot of the same ways you get it and everything else like the tapeworms. They get in your intestines. But this isn't like one long tapeworm. You can get a whole bunch of these and they can block one of your small intestines as they grow. And what's really disgusting when they find them in your intestines, it looks a lot like chow mein from Panda Express. Yeah, I'm not gonna be eating at Panda Express for a while. Love their food too. Maybe I just won't get the chow mein. But yeah, that's what it looks like when it's in your intestines. And it's kind of gross. It's kind of extra gross. But yeah, very much like the tapeworm, but they don't stay in your body for 30 years. You usually find out within a year or two. Ascarious roundworms kill 2,500 people every single year. Number six, scorpions. Everybody knows scorpions can do some damage. There are almost 2,000 scorpion species, but only about 40 have strong enough poison to kill the average person. It's usually those with compromised immune systems, the elderly and children can actually be killed by other ones, but there's only like 40 that'll kill just about anyone. In the US, we only have one that is considered a deadly scorpion, and that is the Arizona bark scorpion. Here it is right here. And this is a yoga scorpion. It is only deadly to people that are extremely out of shape and attempt it. I love the scorpion. Actually, my favorite Spider-Man villain is the scorpion. Don't know why. He's always been like a B-level super villain. You know, he's not that important, but I've always dug him. I don't know why. Scorpions, not the one that fights Spider-Man, real scorpions kill 3,250 people every single year. 
Number five, freshwater snails. Who saw this one coming? Not me. Before you start having thoughts of bloodthirsty snails seeking revenge for that escargot nonsense, it's actually a parasite that lives on the snails until you get in the water near them, then they leave the snail and you're the new host. You contact this from wading, swimming, entering the water in any way. The parasite will leave the snail into the water and seek you out. They can penetrate your skin, work their way through your blood, and end up in your blood vessels where they can live for many years, even decades. It's not the actual worm type parasite, it's the eggs. They have sharp barbs because they eventually need to make it back out of the human body and into the water some way or another. So they connect to you and then eventually leave. So those eggs can lodge in different tissues and cause severe symptoms ranging from anemia, fatigue, all the way up to various severe symptoms like death. That's a symptom. And about 10% of the people get different chronic diseases from this. The good news is you really don't find it too often in North America. It's really Asia, Africa, and South America. 10,000 people a year die from this. Symptoms include a rash, itchy skin, fever, chills, cough, headache, belly pain, joint pain, and muscle aches. About 10,000 people die a year from this. It is possible to recover with medication, but you gotta know what's going on and they gotta figure it out before they give you the medication. Number four, the assassin bug. This is particularly a uh, ugly little creature. The assassin bug sits on your face, drinking your blood, and it has no qualms about dropping a deuce on your face or on your dinner table. The bite itches so you scratch it. Doing so, you kind of brush some of the feces from the bug into your mouth, eyes, or any broken skin maybe that the bug created. That's the bad news and the feces contains a parasite that's going to screw your life up by causing Chagas disease. Chagas disease sometimes causes your heart heart or intestines to swell. Yeah, that's always pleasant. Assassin bugs are widespread through Central and South America and are present in the Southern United States. Maybe, you know, Florida, Georgia, stuff like that. But they tend to flick mostly those who can't afford screen doors. Who thought a screen would save you from death? Again, about 10,000 people die a year from this. And it's another one that is, you know, there's a possibility of surviving if you get the right kind of medication. Number three, the Tetsi fly. When I was a teenager, my dad would tell people that I had the sleeping sickness every summer because I would sleep until noon. I didn't know it was a real thing till much later in life. It is a real thing. The African sleeping sickness is caused by a parasite carried by the tsetse fly. The sickness includes fever, headache, joint pain, itching. Later stages of the sickness include behavior change, confusion, and poor coordination and sleeping, I guess. There is a treatment for the parasite, but sadly, most people that it affects are in rural areas or live in serious poverty in Africa and different places like that to where they don't have access to the medication and the medical care they need so it can become chronic and kill you. 10,000 people a year die from the tsetse flies sleeping sickness. Number two, snakes. There are too many snakes in the world that'll kill you to list in a 10 minute video. I'm not even joking. Venomous snakes were in the United States version of this video and here we are again. We have our rattlesnakes, our cotton mouse, and our coral snakes, just to name a few. Down in Central America and South America, they have some crazy snakes like the jumping viper, the bushmaster, eyelash pit viper, tropical rattler, and the list goes on. Asia has its own long list of slithering death. Different flavors of cobra, the hook nose sea snake, on and on and on. There are are way too many things to bite you and kill you in the snake form. Almost every place but the Arctic and Ireland have snakes that will kill you. I'm sure there's some other places, but those are the two that come to mind. 50,000 people die a year from venomous snakes. And before we get to number one, don't forget we got another channel called On This Day. We'd appreciate it if you give it a look, maybe subscribe. Also, I'll leave some links to other videos that might interest you that are similar to this one in the comment section below. All right, on to number one. And number one, mosquitoes. There it is, mosquitoes, you were all right. I'm not sure how many people left comments about this one on the last video, but it was a bunch. The United States, we do get some people dying from mosquito bites, not really the bite, but what the bite carries, but nothing compared to the rest of the world. I looked up the stats and there are different stats on how many people die from mosquito. This is in part because many that die from the various diseases they carry are so far out in the sticks, sometimes their own country's government isn't really sure where they are or how many people live there or anything like that. They're just so far out away from civilization, they're really not sure and they're not getting medical attention. So when people die, you just bury them. You don't report it to the government. Sort of like West Virginia. 
Mosquitoes are infected with malaria, dengue, West Nile virus, yellow fever, and Zika virus, making them the most deadly animal on Earth. In between 750,000 to 1 million people die from mosquitoes every single year worldwide. That's crazy. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other. Don't get bit by a mosquito.